Hello, I'm Wendy Ross with ABC 7's Suncoast Health Experts, and we know that keeping your family healthy is a priority for you. So we've gathered a variety of healthcare experts across the Suncoast to help guide you in that process. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Daniel Kiernan. And tell me, who is at risk for diabetic retinopathy? Wendy, anyone with a long-standing history of type 1 or type 2 diabetes, especially if it's associated with increased blood sugar, blood pressure over a long period of time is at increased risk. The increasing prevalence of obesity is also dramatically increasing the overall prevalence of diabetes in this country. And how is this affecting sight? Diabetes can damage the small, fine blood vessels in the retina, causing them to leak fluid, which may cause moderate loss of vision and the ability to read or drive, or can cause catastrophic loss of vision if blood fills the eye or develops a retinal detachment. And how is the diabetic retinopathy treated then? Many times if there's leakage in the retina, it can be treated with frequent monthly or bi-monthly injections, but more extensive pathology oftentimes requires surgery to clear blood or fix a retinal detachment if it occurs. It's a chronic disease. It oftentimes requires months and years of treatment. Dr. Daniel Kiernan, thank you so much for joining us today. And for more information, please go to sightforlife.com or you can go to mysuncoast.com slash health experts.